Have you ever wondered how people take 360 degree panoramic pictures? Well, with the digital SLR and the GoPano Plus Optic, we can make it happen with one click. This is the GoPano Plus Optic in its protective case. Before you can use your optic, you first have to take the red cap off the bottom, and then to remove its protective casing, turn it, open it, and be careful and remove it. As this is the GoPano Plus mirror, you can attach on any digital SLR camera, point and shoot camera, or video camera, and you get real simple one shot 360 degree panoramas. Now we're ready to attach the optic to the camera. I've got my Canon SLR here. You just simply take the optic and thread it right on to your camera like so. Continue to thread the optic on your lens until it gets tight. I'm using a 50 millimeter macro lens and a spacer ring. Uh, I've seen to get the best results this way. This is the basic tripod setup for the optic. We have four levels that wrap around the optic to make sure you're taking a level shot. I'm going to go ahead and try to take one here. I've got my Canon SLR set on aperture priority with a high f-stop of f16. Now that we've completed the shoot, it's important to remember that one, you don't cut the donut image off in the viewfinder. Make sure it just touches the edges to make sure you get the best picture possible. Secondly, you want to make sure you have a high f-stop. This gives you a larger depth of field and a better picture. Third, make sure you have a good sharp focus so that the whole image is in focus. And lastly, make sure that your image is level. You want to check the levels on the side of the optic to make sure everything's correct. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use video warp and photo warp so that you can unwarp your images into something like this.